Good morning from Pacific Toyota here in Cairns. Today we're taking a look at the 2011 Toyota RAV4 CB. Before I go too much into the car, I'd just like to give a quick introduction as to who we are. So as I mentioned, we're Pacific Toyota. We're located here at 235 Mulgrave Road in Cairns. We operate at a two used car site, this one here being our main site. And we also have a second used car site located at 77 Mulgrave Road, just down the street. Just across the road there, we've got our new car department, which is Toyota and Lexus, as well as a service center and parts and accessories department as well. Coming back to the car, this one here has been kept in really good condition for its age. It's got approximately 138,000 kilometers on it and has a really good service record as well. As we go around the vehicle, I will point out any imperfections that the car has and also have a look at the service books and the condition inside also. So there's a couple little stone chips obviously on the front bumper bar here. Nothing too major that really stand out. There's no major dents at all around the car either. All four wheels are in really good condition and all four tires have got plenty of tread on them. They've all got Goodyear tires as well, which are pretty much brand new. All of our vehicles sold are provided with a car history report, which I'll attach to the email with the video to us. And all of them go through a thorough roadworthy inspection and then provided with a roadworthy certificate as well. This particular car has the weather shields, on the two front driver windows, which are really good, especially up sort of in these hot climates. You can have the window cracked even while it's raining. There are some little marks just on the door here. And then some very faint scratching there as well, which you can't really notice. take a look at the rear of the car so you've got ample boot space in the RAV4 this one here's currently got the cargo barrier in place however if you don't like the cargo barrier it is easily removed it's only four bolts that hold it in place um, so that one can be taken out quite easily there's a little bit of scuffing just on this interior insert there other than that inside of the car is really well looked after. take a look at the interior of the car now. So starting with the back seats.
there's no tears or rips or anything in any of the fabrics inside including the carpeted areas and there appears to be no stains throughout as well so the interior has been really well looked after The car has power windows throughout. You've got controls on each individual door for those, as well as a main switch system on the front driver's side. Moving around to the front of the car. We'll now take a look at the service book of the car. So, the car's been serviced at 12,000 kilometres. Been serviced again at 25,000, 43,000, 52,000. Missed a couple services just there. But then was serviced at 84,000. Missed another service. Serviced at 117,000 kilometres, 120,000. 138,000 so its next service won't be due until September next year so it does have a really good service record there for the kilometers that are on the car we'll move around to the driver's position now and we can have a look from there at some of the features inside So I mentioned earlier about the window controls there. You've also got a central locking button and a lock button for the power, uh, passenger windows as well. So you've got cruise control just down there on the right hand side of the steering wheel. And then up on the left hand side, we've got the radio controls there as well. You've got your radio in the center there. There's a USB port and AUX connectivity. So you can link in all music devices and you've also got the Bluetooth connectivity to pair up your phone as well to take hands-free calls. It also comes with voice activation, so it is 100% a hands-free service. You've got air conditioning, standard, which is essential up here. And then you've got the automatic transmission down there, as well as electric adjustable side mirrors as well. I'll start the car up and then we'll move around to the engine bay from there to take a look at that. Thank you for taking the time to watch my video. 